Hello friends, today is day 13 and we're going to talk about how to declutter digital photos. Today I'm going to give you some tips on decluttering digital photos and some suggestions on how you can safely store them. Now I'll be talking about this all while I'm making myself another chat book for our 22 um, Christmas party. Now this isn't sponsored, it's just something that I've tried and I really like it and I'm making my third one here with you today. Okay, so let's talk about photos. Now I have albums full of photos from my childhood and I also have albums for each one of my kids. So I'm so thankful that I have these albums. I even have albums of my um, parents when they were young. So in these hard copies, they're just so precious to have. Sadly, nowadays, you're hard pressed to even find a family that's making photo albums. All their photos are digitized and posted on social media. And then after that, they're just left on their phone. So my first recommendation would be to print your photos. Get those hard copies. Even if you don't plan on making photo albums, go ahead and have those hard copies put into a photo box. That way you have those hard copies. I can't I can't reiterate how important that is. When I was a newborn photographer, my clients that were coming to me were expecting only digital photos, but they were pleasantly pleased to know that I built into my packages um, hard copy photos of all of the edited photos that I took of their baby. If you're looking for a good photo lab, I would suggest MPix. You can find them um, on the internet. Um, I'll put their link down below. But of course, you can still go to Walgreens and have them printed there. All right, if you're like me, you have numerous photos on your phone. Not only do I have the photos I take, I have photos that my family takes and then they send them to me. So I have numerous photos on my phone. So the first thing you wanna do is get in there and remove any of the duplicates. Um, a lot of times we'll just click, 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 click and take several pictures and then pick the best of the, of the 10. <laughs> anyway, so you wanna go in there and you want to remove the um, photos that are duplicates or kind of like duplicates. Now, if you have too many to do that, there is an app that you can get that will go in and find all the um, duplicate and almost duplicate photos. Um, it's called cleanup and it goes in your phone and it will um, categorize all the photos that, that look like they're similar. And then you go ahead and delete the ones that you don't want. Now, of course, you can do this all yourself. And if you have a lot of photos, I would suggest that at night when you're sitting down watching a show that you spend 15 minutes um, on your phone um, doing the same thing, going through and finding the duplicates of the photos, getting rid of the ones that you're no longer needing. Um, cause really we don't need all those photos. We just need the best of, of the ones of, of the categories that you've taken a picture of. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so get rid of all those extra photos. All right. So now that you've gotten all the duplicates taken care of, I'm going to suggest three different services that you can use that will, um, hold your photos for you. So the first one is iCloud. And now iCloud is Apple's um, service. So if you have an Apple phone, um, you will get your first five gigabytes free. Now that's not gonna hold a lot of photos. It will hold some, but it's it, that's not a lot of photos. Anyways, um, and also, you know, it'll hold your videos too. So you get the five gigabytes for free. And then after that, you'll need to buy more space. And I don't remember how much their space is, but um, it's who I use and they have, um, you know, all my photos and my videos up in the cloud. You, but I'll be honest with you, even that makes me nervous just because you just never know what's going to happen. I like to have hard copies, but anyways. All right. So put it up in the cloud. Now, if you're an Android user, you can also use um, Google Photos. With them, you'll get 15 gigabytes free and then you can buy more. And then there's Amazon Prime Photos, and they offer unlimited automatic photo backups for um, Android and iPhone. And it's part of your Amazon Prime subscription. Now, if you want to back up your photos without paying for that cloud service, you can store your photos on an external hard drive. This is what I also do. So I have um, a double thing. I will put it up in the cloud, and then I also back them up on an external hard drive. Um, I will link my hard drive um, down below in the description box if you want to go and look at it. Anyways, I back them up on there. Now for safety, I would highly suggest that if this is the only way that you're storing your photos, that you do it twice. Do it on two different hard drives 
um, external hard drives and then um, give one to a family member or something like that. That's just in case if there's a fire or anything like that. You want to be sure that you have two copies, especially if you're not putting one up in the cloud. You see what I mean? This little video that you see that's going on above, Chatbooks does that with all of your photos that you send in to make a book. They'll put them all together and make a little um, photo reel for you. Um, this is really sweet to have. Just add a little music to it and you've got, you know, like a little home video thing. So anyways, it's so precious. Anyways, Chatbooks has a $10 um, coupon thing. It's a refer friend thing. So I will add that below if you would like to try a Chatbook. Um, you can get $10 off. Okay, friends, I hope that this has really helped you to understand how important it is to get hard copies of your photos. And then I've given you some advice on different places to store your photos. Um, if this helped you, please give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you get reminded every time I post a new video. Now tomorrow I'm going to be posting two videos. I'll do one for the 30 day declutter and then the other one is going to be a cleaning video. So I hope that you enjoy that because um, we need to get some cleaning done too. So I'm going to um, post that cleaning video for you. All right, I'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, stay blessed my friends.